Hey, my name is Zach, and I have a Kindle here, but no iPad. The reason for that is it's a big piece of junk that I didn't want to buy. The reason being is I often travel, and I don't have a place to charge anything. Sometimes I'll fly for seven, eight hours at a time, and then I have to go another seven or eight hours, and that really doesn't work out for me and my lifestyle. So. The Kindle's battery life, comparatively to the iPad's battery life, is two weeks with no Wi-Fi connection on and 12 hours with no Wi-Fi connection on. Even if you bring your brightness all the way down, that's about all you're going to get is 12 hours. With the Kindle, the nice thing is you get about two weeks and use functions like the wireless all you do is tap wireless and turn it off. A good rule of thumb is keep it in airplane mode. Thus, you really aren't using any connection at all. Keep in mind if you have a 4G Kindle, this really does drain your battery. Difference with that in a cell phone, a cell phone if you're not in service, you lose battery. With a Kindle, if you're in service, you lose battery. So those are just a couple things about the battery life of the Kindle and the iPad. Though if you are looking for something that can run a little bit heavier of applications, I would go with the iPad. My name's Zach, and I just talked to you about the differences between the iPad and the Kindle's battery life. Thanks for watching.